If you're anything like me, you've made some killer presets. You're always like, why can't I use these presets on my videos just like LUTs? They're literally the exact same settings. Well, I found the solution. What's up guys, my name is Dax Brulé and we are going to skip the intro and get right into it. So come with me into the computer and let me show you how to do this. It's super easy. So we are here in the Lightroom app. I have a fresh collection going. So I'm just gonna import the videos. People don't know, you can import video in Lightroom. So just import the videos that you wanna add your presets to. Bang, so two videos imported in Lightroom. In Lightroom, you don't have a lot of choices with videos. What you can do is you can click on them. I'm gonna bring up the big library module. There you can view them. And you can scroll through them using this little timeline indicator. You can trim them if you wish. You can set the poster frame, which is pretty much the frame that you're gonna see when you're scrolling through the library grid module. So you're gonna come here and just press that poster frame you can even capture a frame which is literally just exporting that single frame you're gonna see that you can't actually come into the develop module with video so it's like well how am i gonna do this well it's actually very easy you're just gonna simply come here and you're gonna see your quick develop on the side and this is pretty much where you can add certain things to video click on the video save preset then you can scroll through all the presets that you have let me go to my user presets let me go to what what, what do i think is going to be good on this when you click though, there are only certain features that are available on video. So not all your settings are gonna paste onto the video, but these are all the settings that are gonna paste. Most of the main ones will paste, so it will pretty much show you what your preset looks like. Minus, I think, brushes, uh, sharpness, things like that. Then there you go. Now, well, this preset doesn't look good, I'll, I'll tell you that, but now my preset is on this video. And you know, look at that, me swimming underwater with this preset. And if I like wanna change it, I just come back up to here. Gonna go, we're gonna go to this one. Nope, that one doesn't look good. Bang, this one doesn't look that bad. And there, now you have your video with your preset on it. This can get even better if you use log footage. Now you have a lot more free range to add extra settings and things like that because log footage can handle a lot more uh, video. So there I just added Avatar. That's one of Peter McKinnon's presets that I have. I think Heathstroke would look great. And yeah, there you go. Now I got this nice clip. I can actually even add more blacks to this or darken the black. And there you go. Now I have my preset saved on here. Beautiful. And if you want to export it's the same process you're just going to come to export press export and then you're going to choose where you want to export it to as far as video exports go it doesn't change any of the settings it's just going to be the exact same video file exact same settings obviously it's going to take a little bit longer because there's multiple frames in the video but that is actually insane honestly i am surprised every time i do it because i find that i work on presets so much more and have more options with presets so it's nice to do this the only problem with this workflow is of course you know it takes longer what I would recommend you do once you've color corrected your final video no title cards anything like that you're gonna want to export that video import that video into Lightroom you're gonna put your preset on that video make some minor adjustments it's gonna be a total overall grade for the look of the video and you're gonna export that put it back in add your title cards anything that you don't want your LUT going over um, and that's pretty much how you can use your presets to color grade your footage in Lightroom of course, it's not the greatest workflow, but if you ever want to do it, even just for single clips and see what it looks like, then there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Gently tap that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I got new videos coming out every week. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video. Creators, keep creating. See you guys in the next one.